in 1994 when you know when China opened its doors to tourism because before that you know only those above 50 I think can visit China we started this uh, you know this idea this pioneer idea of why not we bring Malay Muslims to China and let them see the China Muslims there we introduced them to the uh, uh, Malay Hajj companies like uh, TM Fauzi and then later we introduced them to all the Malay companies. You know, we were wholesalers uh, to Shahida, you know, uh, Halija and all these companies. We started as, uh, as a, a tour, you know, at bringing people to China. And then when people see the plight of some of the Chinese villagers, you know, they, they feel empathy, they sympathize with them and they ask, uh, can we give them some donation? Can we do zakat? Can we do koruban? I say, yeah, why not? Then the SMU, NTU and NUS uh, got to know of, uh, of our tours and our community service. And now they are you know, coming every year uh, for this uh, YEP project. Our tours spread to USA, we spread to England, you know, Australia. One of the biggest group uh, came from America, there were 100 of us, 100 of them, and they were all very happy with the tours. One of the biggest challenges is how do we sustain you know, and continue doing charity? Because without the support of Singaporeans, I think you know, we are not able. Of course, Allah is great and uh, He is the one who motivates whoever to give charity. As a human being, we are in the best of Allah's creation. So there are three duties we have to do. To be good to yourself, to be good to others, and be good to the environment. The limit of charity is to give till it hurts. Yeah, that's, is, that's the limit. So start to give. The more you give, the more you get. So risky is not only money. You get health, you see? You get good friends, but that's risky. I don't think I have any uh, other mission, you know, because uh, my mission, uh, I was a teacher before, so I am very, very uh, concerned, you know, over the education of the young kids in China, the young Muslim kids. To me, they must be taught who is Allah, you know. They should be good to themselves, they should not, you know, abuse their own, uh, their own faculties, you know, they should not drink, should not gamble, you know, so you have to be good to yourself. Well, my core value will be sincerity. To do things for the sake of Allah, don't need, you don't need uh, rewards, you see. If Allah gives you the reward, fine. You know, doing itself is rewarding. You know, because you are serving the community, you know, you are elevating uh, people from poverty, you know, from uh, no education, you give them. Because I used to support, even when I was uh, teaching, I used my wages, my salary, to support university students. Uh, in the school fees. We supported about 20 when I was teaching and then after that when I retired I used I think almost all my pension you know to do this uh, charity in China. In women they are you know they are mothers you know they look after their children you know they have uh, well I would say more time rather than the father. Of course, there are some fathers who stay at home. But because the mom is the influential person in the family, so she would be the one to impart core values, not to do things which incur the wrath of Allah. So if you instill all these values, especially the women, then, you know, the child will be brought up with good adab. <laughs>